No one can stop me! How's it going everyone? Doc here with Eyes Wide Shot Gaming, and today we are going to break down our explosive SMO build. Stick around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all of your first ascended news, builds, breakdowns, and more, as well as many other games. We recently found out that SMO was the least played descendant of them all. So for that reason, we wanted to try making a solid all-around build and find out why. Let's dive right into the modules, followed by the reactor, external components, and then see what kind of damage we can output in the lab. We took a look through a few of the transcendent modules that we could use, but most of them did not hold up in battle. The only two that seemed to hold up comfortably in battle were explosive propaganda and creative explosion. So for the sake of maximal damage, we opted for the latter transcendent mod. So how does creative explosion actually work? After a dash, we use up all of our available bombs to inflict great damage to nearby enemies. The more bombs we have available, the greater the damage inflicted. Basically, without using our first or third ability, we activate our fourth ability and make a mad dash at the enemy. For the sub-attack, we are back at it again with kicking, which can be swapped with any sub-attack of your choice. Since we are building heavily into our fourth skill's damage, our first main module is Fire Sentium, which will increase our critical hit resistance by 15.1%, but more importantly, raise our fire skill power by 10.2%. Again, building up into our skill damage, we use Maximize Skill to raise our skill power by 87.6%, but sadly raises our skill cooldown by 50% as well. We can overlook the skill cooldown issue as we can mitigate that with our next module, which is Nimble Fingers, dropping the skill cooldown by 25.6%. For the sake of survivability, we use HP Amplification to raise our max HP by 227.2%, but we drop our max shield by 36.5%. For our next module, we further mitigate the negative effects to our cooldown from Maximize Skill with MP Conversion, which lowers our skill cooldown by another 36.5%, but with it, lowers our max MP by 15%. To really dish out the top potential of our skill, we use skill concentration to increase our skill critical hit damage by 115.4%. Now we get to our first and only ultimate module, Dangerous Ambush, which when landing a skill attack while the enemy is not targeting you, our skill power is increased by 24.9%. And if the enemy is immobilized when we attack, our skill power is further increased by 49.8%. Since we have now gotten to a point where we couldn't find any other module to increase our skill power aside from Spear and Shield, we decided to just throw it on and increase our defense by 89.8% as well as our skill power by 8.1%. Our last two modules go hand in hand, first being Emergency Measures, which will increase our skill critical hit rate by 64.6%, and our skill critical hit damage by 27.7%. And the second, as well as the last module, is Front Lines, which reverses those two numbers to skill critical hit damage increase by 64.6% and skill critical hit rate by 27.7%. We also want to bring to light the basic info and skill effects of SMO's fourth skill. So our cooldown is at 35.2 seconds giving us ample time to build our first and third skills bombs up. And our damage, as well as our burst damage, is correlating off of our skill power being multiplied by 101.8% for damage and 4948.7% for burst damage. We have the modules and skills covered. Let's take a quick look at the reactor and external components. For our reactor, we're using the Burning Mixture Reactor. Its optimization condition is with the new Excava Assault Rifle. 
our skill power boost ratio is fire skill and fusion skill power boost ratio, since our fourth skill is reliant on both of those, as is our last two stats covering the same two skill power boost ratios to really increase the damage we inflict with our fourth ability. As far as our external components go, we tested a few variants, but ultimately we noted that the Slayer set, with its increase to skill power by 26.1%, is the best choice for this SMO build. Let's jump into the lab and see what kind of numbers we can dish out with this build. So once we see the enemy, all we need to do is make sure our first and third ability is not spent at all, and activate our fourth ability, rush towards the enemy, and when within range, reactivate our fourth ability to detonate, inflicting a base of 3.7 million damage, not counting the effects of our dangerous ambush module, which should bring that number up to about 5.2 million. As well as when critting, we strike for 16.1 million damage, again, not counting our dangerous ambush module, which should raise that damage number up to about 24 million. We genuinely hope this video charms more players to build into SMO to give them a fair shake. And as always, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, so long.